Hey guys, how are you doing? This is going to be a favorites video and I have a lot here and you will hear background noise. My family's home, it is Sunday, I'm recording today. I'm not gonna do like a May favorites or, oops. And I'm back. I'm not gonna do like a May favorites or anything like that or January, February, March, I'm not doing any of that um, because I, every time that I try to do something like that, what happens is, is I don't end up getting the video up on time because I have other videos that are backed up waiting to, you know, be put up. So I don't ever make it. So this is just going to be a straight favorite video and there is a lot here so we might as well just get to it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start off with is, you guys all know, my favorite lashes are the I Love Me lashes and I have a whole drawer full. The alleys I tend to buy more of because I just love the way they look. And the ones that I have on that just fit perfect, perfectly for my eyes are actually the Sophia's. They are part of, part of the bridal series or the wedding series. So my little girl's in there uh, doing like a little chant, like, oh, 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 something like that. I don't know what they're doing in there. But, um, so I Love Me are my favorite lashes. Ooh, I forgot to blush. Wah, wah. Let's get some blush out. Okay. Next to my favorites, let's do foundations. I am loving the Locket Tattoo Foundation. I've been using it, look, it's all up. It probably should be in my empties uh, video because it's almost empty, but I still have some in there, so I haven't been able to do that. Love this foundation, love the coverage. Um, I used it with a brush, honestly, because when I use the Beauty Blender sponge, it does not work. So I use it with a flat top brush, and I will show you the one I use. Crown brush. All of this is crown brush. That's what I use. Crown brush brushes. So that's what I use. Love them, but this is the brush I use. This is part of their, um, which one is this one? I think their Infinity series. I think this is the Infinity. So I love these brushes. Infinity and Synthos are my favorite from crown brush. I just love the way they apply and everything. Okay, next favorite foundation for drugstore is Revlon Color Stay. Love this foundation. It lasts all day. I love the way it wears. This I do use a sponge with. It's just absolutely beautiful. And this is like my favorite. I think this is like one of my favorite foundations. Um, I pretty much use this almost on a daily basis. So, but when I want to put on makeup really quick, this one applies quicker than, you know, the other liquid ones, just so you know. Okay. Now my going out dolled up, you know, doing something spectacular, I try to save this because it is $36 a bottle. Same thing, I think, I believe the Locket Foundation is the same thing too. But, um, is the Estee Lauder Delaware Stay in Place Makeup. But I absolutely love this foundation. It's great for bridal, if you're doing brides. I mean, this is great for brides too. I don't feel it has any flashback. But this definitely has no flashback and it wears really great covers. It does everything that you would need, you know, if you're getting... Alright, concealer and primers. Okay, um, the Matte Prep and Prime, I use it every day. I love the way it applies. It covers. It keeps your makeup on all day. I use this one. This is the Fortified one. And this is the one that I use on a daily basis and you see in my videos. And I'm really digging the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Concealer. So I have been using that. I definitely recommend it. I got, in, got it in a lighter color to, you know, give me more of a little bit of a highlight. And to cover up and, you know, do all those great things that, you know, it does. Okay, as far as my favorite powder, same powder that I always use is the Too Faced Amazing Face SPF 15 and Perfect Nude. Literally, this is, I have hit pan on this again. I hit pan on this all the time. So, I absolutely love this. Going to be buying more. This is my holy grail, one of my holy grail products. Okay, contour and highlight. I have been really, really loving this fire sculpting series by Motives. As you can see, this is so used. It's not even funny. You can tell I've hit pan on this. I love this palette. I love her in fire. And then my Sculpt Face by It Cosmetics use this all the time as well. As you can see, this is more of a glowy, this is more like a matte. This is more of the highlight color, and then, you know, it goes on from there. But absolutely love this palette as well for contouring and highlighting. And then one of my main contour colors that you always see me use, let's 
wipe this off because it's been touched a lot. This is the Soft Meow Mineral Brush. Blush, oh uh, wait. Blush, yeah, I said it right. And, but I might have said brush, I don't know. Anyways, that is what I use every day to get the contour everywhere that you mainly see, I use this as well. Because I'm using the powder. It leaves more like a soft natural look. Okay, as far as blush goes, I got this blush from Sweet Glamour Makeup, and this is called Brilliance Glow Blush, and I have been using it every day. This is what everybody's been talking about that you guys have said on Instagram that you love my cheek color. This is a really beautiful, like, beautiful color for, here, let's see if it'll focus, focus, for blush. I just absolutely love this blush. It is so pretty, and it's got, like, a little bit of a glow to it. So it leaves your cheeks really nice, but I've been mainly using this and, oh my gosh, hold on, and my Eddie Funkhauser blush. I absolutely love his blush as well. This is the Ultra Intensity Color and a Little Toasted. This is such a beautiful matte, um, like it's like a pinky, it's like a rose. That's what it really reminds me of, a rose. But those are the colors that I've been having on my cheeks lately. I wear Okay. Now, let's get to brows. Holy Grail product, guys. Do not live without it. This is my Ofra. Oh gosh, it's like all worn. My semi-permanent waterproof. Um, and this, is, this one is in soft brown or something brown. I can't see. The packaging is all off because I use it. And I've hit pan on this as well. But this is what I use on my eyebrows every single day. When people ask me, what do you use on your eyebrows? This is what I use every single day on my eyebrows without fail. Okay, now as far as eyeliner goes. Now, I got this eyeliner. This is called Black is Black, and this is by L'Oreal, and it's a 24-hour wear. And this is what I have on my eyes today. And honestly, it does last a really, really long time. Really liking this a lot. Um, I was skeptical at first because I have gotten other things like this and they have not worn like the wet and wilds that was horrible and some other ones i was gonna say suck yes it sucks and <laughs> but this is amazing so if you want to know what it is it's the blackest black 24 hour l'oreal infallible um liner gel liner and it comes with a cute little brush and the brush is not bad um but i have been using the brush just to see you know if i can maneuver with it and it's not okay now, I forgot to add this in the primer. Ofra has something called Instant Flash Primer, and I'm obsessed with this stuff. I use it every day on my forehead, on my face. It is a primer. I do use it, and I really, really, really love it. It makes my, my face smooth where I need it to be smooth, and it lasts all day long. Love this stuff. Okay. Another eye gel that I really do like is that I was using before that one was the Sedona Lace. Now, I do have the Inglot one, but to be honest with you guys, I don't feel like the Inglot one, the set, number 77, stays. Like, I feel like the Sedona Lace stays, and I feel like the one that I got from L'Oreal. So if you want a little higher end one, which is really not higher, not high in price, is the Sedona Lace. But, and this is a number 02, and I actually got all the colors 02, 11, which is like a chocolate brown, and then I got some red color one. I would say those. Okay, guys, moving on to palettes. Okay, the It Naturally Pretty, use it every day. Been talking about this palette. If you don't have it, you need it. I suggest go out and get it. I absolutely am in love with this. It is all mattes but you can transform them into some shimmers. It is just amazing. So it's got a transforming gel, or transforming gel, I'm talking about, I, I, you know, you guys know what I mean. Anyways, this has a transforming powder in it and it is absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend it. Full exposure, absolutely loving it. I have been using it. I love the brush it comes with. These are really nice uh, matte, at the bottoms and then the shimmers at the top really great palette to have and for a quad my quad that I've been using a lot is the Eddie Funkhauser 
quad and this is in hyper real and this is the ultimate smoky eye have been using my 80 now I really do like the jet couture press pigment by Mac I have several of those but I wanted to show you this one because I really love this one if you're looking for a really pretty pigment this one's really good you know to do like the nice really smoky eye or deep eye really love the jet couture and lip okay Eye pencil I've been using a lot is the Perfect Black by Too Faced Waterproof Eyeliner. It's got a like little you know foam end to it, um, felt tip end, and then of course the Urban Decay 24/7 Velvet Glide On Pencil. This is really nice. This is one of their newer products because you can blend it on your eye and you can create eye looks with it. So that's pretty much it for the pencil side. Now for the lip pencil, guys. I got this in my glam bag and I am in love with this. This is by Star Looks and um, it is their long wearing pencil and naked. This is what I've been using every single day on my lips. Okay. And mascaras. Favorite mascaras. L'Oreal Lens again, the telescopic carbon black. This was my holy grail product. Until, and let me show you the brush, then I'll show you why I love it. I love the brush. It's like this really nice comb. So I really, really do like it. I just hate how you, when you stick it in, you have to wiggle it to get it in. I just don't like that. But besides that, I love it. Is the Magna, or Manga, Miss Manga Voluminous. Love this. It's got the bent brush. I think this is like now one of my new favorites. Um, favorite mascaras. I love off lip lacquers. I actually have the Aurora. This is new, and then the uh, Nova's not new. Luna's not new. Okay. Celeste's not new. I guess I got the Nova. That was the only new one I got. But I have Aurora, Luna, uh, Celestial, and Nova. But these are them. This is what they look like. Let's see if I can get all these colors together. And I really like the brush. I'll just show you the one that I have on now. This is the Aurora. This is the red one that I have on now. It's like a brick red. But these are so nice. I like the applicator and I feel like they last for a while on your lips. They are lip lacquer, so they're between a lipstick and a lip gloss, if that makes any sense little bit thicker but I absolutely love it and I love the way they look on the lips so these are definitely a hit and these are by Rimmel so these are really great and these have been the Eddie Funkhauser innuendo can't live without that been using that every single day it is like the most perfect nude that I've ever used I'm not even kidding you and this is what I have in a lot of my looks and then I place it over with the overindulgence by Mac I know you guys have seen this on my lips a lot. This is the overindulgence. And I usually put these two together with the new lip liner. So that's been my lip recipe lately. Okay, Japanese makeup brush cleaner. This is what I use to clean my brushes quickly. Love this. The Ofra makeup fixer. Cannot live without this. This is another Holy Grail product that I have. And the Revlon. Precise lash glue. I have used other ones like the doo-wop one and this one to me works the best So I absolutely love that now. This is a little weird to put, add in here, but I'm going to add it anyways This is the clear gel by secret and this is Paris. It's the romantic series Love the way this smells love the way it lasts if you're looking for a new deodorant really like this a lot and then this is what I got for Mother's Day, and I already did a mini review for this, but this is made it into my favorites. This is the Sheer Love, and this is by Victoria's Secrets, and I just absolutely love the scent of this. Like, I could spray it on all day long. I just love it. These are like the Neutrogena, but then they're like, I guess, the knockoff brand. It's the Equate Beauty. I actually like these towelettes better than the Neutrogena. So I definitely recommend these and they're cheaper. So they're okay. like, um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I hope you like my favorites. If you have any questions about any of them, please let me know and I will see you later.